Hello everyone, thanks for taking some time to watch this week's video update. I hope that you had a wonderful week and that you're looking forward to the upcoming weekend. If you're watching this video on Friday, May 3rd, it is the first Friday of the month. Uh, as we do every Friday, we have Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament going on in the chapel of the church. Uh, you're welcome to come in at any point uh, to spend some time in prayer, five minutes, ten minutes, however much time you have. Um, and because it's First Friday, we'll be having a confession at 6.30 this evening, and then concluding the day with benediction of the Blessed Sacrament at 7 p.m. Now, tomorrow is the first Saturday of the month, but we will not be having our regular first Saturday morning Mass. That's because at 10 a.m., Bishop Bruce Lewandowski will be here to give the Sacrament of Confirmation to the ninth graders of our parish. It's always a very uh, special day when the bishop comes to uh, confer the Sacrament of Confirmation, so we look forward to that um, celebration. It's The Mass is open to the public, so if you'd like to come and pray with and for our young people and their families, you're certainly welcome to do so. Then on Sunday, we're celebrating First Holy Communion for our second graders. Uh, First Holy Communion is always a wonderful day. Uh, the faith and the zeal of, uh, of the little ones, I always find to be particularly inspirational. Um, and that's why, as a parish, we're celebrating First Holy Communion at Sunday Masses, because it's a very important occasion for these families, but also for our entire parish, and we want to celebrate with them. So um, let's continue to pray for our young people uh, who have these uh, special sacramental celebrations this weekend. In my bulletin column this weekend, I let you know about the seminarians who are going to be coming to St. Mark over the summer. And also, um, to please remember uh, that we're going to be celebrating Father Foley's 50th ordination anniversary on Sunday, May 19th at the 11 a.m. Mass, followed by coffee and cake in the McCall Center Auditorium after Mass. This is a very, very special occasion for him, um, so I certainly hope that you will come and pray with him uh, at that Mass and congratulate him uh, in, his, uh, in his 50 years uh, of service as a priest. Something I would like to draw your attention to in a particular way is uh, something that I think is very special and very important that's going to be starting very soon. And that's our Novena to the Holy Spirit. So this year, as a parish, I would like to invite all of us to join together in prayer in the Novena to the Holy Spirit. The Novena begins next Friday, May 10th, which uh, would be the day after Ascension Thursday, if we celebrated the Ascension on its proper day, but we don't, and I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, but the Novena to the Holy Spirit marks the, the, the nine days when the apostles, after the Lord ascended into heaven, stay together in the upper room in prayer awaiting the pouring forth of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So it is a tradition to keep that novena to the Holy Spirit going. It's the oldest novena in the church and to spend those nine days in intentional prayer. So this year I would like all of us as a parish family to pray that novena. In your bulletin this weekend you'll find an insert. It's also attached uh, in the email that I sent to you today. The insert has the Novena prayer on it. So uh, put that insert on your kitchen table, on your refrigerator, where you say your prayers, where everybody's going to see it in the house. Please come together, even as a, fam as a, as a domestic family, as a domestic church, to, to pray that Novena to the Holy Spirit. And in that Novena, we're going to be preparing for something very particular. Uh, and, and imploring the Holy Spirit to come down in a particular way. So, starting on Pentecost weekend, which is May 18th and 19th, during the rosary that precedes the Mass, we're going to be start praying for all of the streets in our parish boundaries by name. So we're going to take 10 streets during the rosary before each Mass, from Pentecost Sunday till about the middle of June, and we're going to cover all of the streets of the parish in prayer. And in a particular way, we, we have a particular intention for that time of prayer, that the Holy Spirit will come down on everyone who lives on those streets. If they're baptized, that he will germinate the seed of faith that has been planted in their hearts by baptism, 
And if they haven't been baptized, that they will be so moved to come to know the Lord Jesus. So we're going we're gonna to be praying for all of the streets by name from Pentecost Sunday until the middle of June. And we're going to cover them in intentional prayer. And in order to be ready to do that, that's where the Novena comes in. So that's where our preparation is to get our hearts and minds and souls in the right place to really have that intentional prayer to ask the Holy Spirit to come down on all of the streets within our parish boundaries. So as I said, there's an insert um, in the bulletin this weekend. Uh, the insert is available also in my email. You can click on the file and download it uh, for yourself and print it out. Uh, you can put that Novena prayer someplace where you're going to remember it. Uh, we're going to put reminders each day on Facebook to say your, your Novena prayer. Maybe you want to send a reminder on your phone or write it on your calendar or whatever. Um, I think it, it's very important uh, that the entire parish come together to pray this Novena prayer, to implore the Holy Spirit. Um, and I think all of our prayers united together are going to be very, very powerful. Um, so I'll, I'll talk a little bit about this um, at Mass this weekend. Um, I, I, as I said, I'm very excited about it. I think it's very, very important to unite together in prayer, to ask the Holy Spirit to come down upon um, the everyone within the boundaries of this parish. So thanks for taking some time to watch uh, this week's video update. I know it's a little bit longer one than usual. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you at Mass. God bless you.